1976. I ran the New York City Marathon on my artificial leg and became the first amputee, you know, anywhere to do the 26 miles. A number of people were coming back from Iraq and I'd ask them if they were running the marathon. And they would look at me and say, sir, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I just lost my legs three weeks ago. And then we get him into a hand crank. All of a sudden they had wheels. The first day I got my prosthetics, it was pretty scary. I was injured eight months ago, so, um, so all this is still kind of somewhat new to me. It's scary, you know, it's like a little kid, you know, getting on a bike for the first time. It's kind of like more motivating when someone's like, oh, you can't do this, then you're like, watch. Watch. It's always good to be a part of a team, and the Achilles and GM are, have a lot in common because, in a way, they're both making a comeback. So we, we have kind of that mindset in common. You have some of our disabled veterans negotiating with the doctors to either speed up the surgeries or to postpone them for a week or two because they don't want the surgeries to interfere with their marathon running. Now that is the way that one should go through rehabilitation. gives them an opportunity to bond, you know, to be part of a group and to have a goal. But possibly even more important than that is that it gives people an opportunity to achieve. If I can do this, what else can I do?